Hello everyone. Uh, here is Sunny again for you on Aquaculture Tribe and also on Irrationality on your plate podcast. So uh, there are two purposes of this video. Uh, the number one purpose is to have uh, this being uploaded on the podcast as well as on the YouTube channel Aquaculture Tribe. And uh, as you have notice that I haven't been uploading the content on aquaculture tribe for a while uh, in the last six months I have been quite busy and haven't been able to focus on the content on aquaculture tribe and also uh, haven't been really doing much on the podcast side uh, so I ran the survey a few days ago related to the what type of content uh, we should be having on aquaculture tribe and most of you almost probably 80 percent said that we should have more content on the fish feed uh, related area on uh, aquaculture tribe so here we have <coughs> uh, with this uh, so here we are with this new video uh, or you can say audio type of video uh, on aquaculture tribe and uh, in this uh, in this episode uh, I will walk you through uh, about the insect protein in the fish feed uh, you will you will understand uh, some of the practical issues you will be able to understand uh, what are the challenges what are the advantages and um, other things so let's jump in um, and by the way thanks for that survey it really helped to understand and uh, motivate uh, to produce more content uh, on this uh, aquaculture feed related area so using insect uh, in the protein in uh, using insect protein in uh, fish feed uh, it's a very important topic because of the sustainability reasons as you know that the, the fish feed uh, ingredients uh, many of them are in direct uh, uh, direct competition with the human food and as a principle we shouldn't be having uh, this thing happening uh, for all the animal nutrition and for the fish feed um, overall we shouldn't have any uh, ingredient in our feeds which is uh, having the direct competition with the human food um, because of the food security reasons and uh, this is really important that we use these important resources these important ingredients uh, in a sustainable manner and why this um, uh, how this insect protein come in uh, as you know that insect uh, have uh, 50 to 60 pro uh, percent protein uh, in the insect and it makes them very important ingredient for the, uh, the animal feed uh, to, to produce them in a sustainable way but one of the challenges in the past has been that the insect protein has been also been fed on the human uh, food uh, for example wheat just one example so so this th that made it a little bit uh, you can say in conflict when it comes to uh, having uh, the sustainability principles behind it uh, but things have uh, changed quite a bit recently and uh, there is increased uh, transparency also on the insect uh, protein side uh, the industry overall uh, and this is really uh, making things uh, happen now in a more positive uh, way uh, towards sustainability overall so uh, when it comes to using the insect protein in the fish feed uh, in my understanding uh, uh, you should be uh, depending on the which fish species you have uh, and of course the insect uh, insect protein normally in the market you have two types of different species one is uh, black soldier fly and the other one is yellow meal worm so both have uh, uh, different profiles when it comes to uh, the 
uh, for example the chitosan the the shell of uh, these insects uh, which really also have effect on how much you can really use in your uh, fish feed uh, production um, but uh, roughly uh, or safely uh, I would rather say uh, you should be good enough uh, for using uh, this insect protein uh, mostly the insect meal uh, let's say five to ten percent in your feed production um, this could be let's say ten percent uh, more or less uh, for for tilapia and shrimp feed uh, and it could be safely used uh, for five percent or uh, yeah five percent for trout and five percent for salmon feed so that could be done uh, commercially it is not there yet mm, people are not really using that a uh, lot uh, especially in Europe but of course if you are sitting in Asian market and African market where you might have more uh, this maybe you ha might have it available or uh, you might have it uh, less less restrictive uh, regulations when it comes to the food safety and feed safety so you have this uh, freedom to use these insects maybe even more than in Europe so uh, but when it comes to Europe right now uh, you have the, uh, uh, the, the the insect has been allowed to be used as the feed ingredients uh, in chickens and also uh, pigs uh, and of course previously it has been also approved for the fish so mainly for mon monogastric animals it is uh, allowed overall at this point and which makes them very of course an interesting candidate uh, for using uh, as the sustainable feed ingredients and and there is another principle related to the sustainability which we should have it in mind and that is uh, when it comes to using insects they have a great advantage uh, in replacing fish meal for example so as you know fish meal is a restrict uh, is a limited resource um, it also in some places have direct conflict as a human food uh, and the animal feed ingredient so uh, it, it, it is a complicated ingredient to work with and in this case you have uh, insect protein which uh, which can uh, compensate the fish meal um, to certain extent but of course not 100 percent because fish meal have also other special uh, uh, abilities when it comes to its profile which insect protein don't have uh, we can discuss that uh, some other time in more detail uh, but overall mm, I'm I'm glad to, uh, to produce this uh, piece uh, for you guys so that we can start doing this um, this videos again or uh, this content again on aquaculture tribe and also on the podcast um, so the, yeah I think it's a good start to start with uh, and in some other videos we can discuss more about other ingredients um, which are new and which are coming in the fish feed uh, recently so uh, if you want to understand more about insect industry and its uh, overall evolution and what are the positive things right now and how things are going um, uh, in the summer I had this pleasure to have great discussion on my podcast called Irrationality on your plate uh, with the CEO of Protex. Protex is one of the biggest uh, insect protein company in Europe uh, which which have quite good uh, profile uh, when it comes to the products and quite transparent company so uh, you will learn a lot uh, I will leave the link of that in the description of this uh, uh, on the aquaculture tribe and for the podcast listeners uh, it is available also already on the podcast so I will I will I, I will uh, just throw in the link uh, over there so that if you guys haven't heard that conversation so you can have it and then you can actually understand quite a lot about the insect 
different uh, industry and uh, the different challenges and positive things and yeah so for enough for today maybe and uh, thank you very much for listening